Time is finished. Someone left out an electrical outlet out of the door. If I needed electricity right now, I would slurp on that bitch. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Dan Life Paul. I'm your host, Paul. We are inching closer and closer to the date to where my lease ends. For the past few weeks, I've been hit with like an unlucky streak of like seeing like police officers and security guards coming up to me and yelling at me like, oh, what are you doing? You can't be recording out here. You're not supposed to be out here at all. I understand that, I get it. I understand that completely. I just don't care. You gotta calm down, brother man. You can't be taking life too seriously. You're gonna give yourself a stroke. I could completely understand like if you were going to live forever, but my guy, you're gonna die one day. So chill the fuck out. Every single time that I like see someone like approaching, it doesn't have to be a police officer, it doesn't have to be like a security personnel. But like as soon as I always see like a car pulling up, I automatically like start packing up my shit because like I need pure, quiet exclusivity to make like um, a video because like I'm trying to focus like on what I'm saying like every single time that like i see like um someone pull up like i start like putting my shit together and then they automatically start questioning me it's like boy you see that i'm trying to leave just go ahead and let me leave i ain't gonna lie man sobriety being like a hundred percent cold stone sober for me personally has been pretty freaking dope man because like i remember like a few like a few months ago, I was like trying to start to like smoke weed again because like weed used to be my shit because like it was like when I was like just starting to get like back into the gym and like that was like my kind of thing because like weed is kind of like works the opposite way for me because like when I smoke weed, I actually get like more motivated. I actually like want to like do more things and so what I would do is I would drive to the parking lot of the gym and then I would smoke up and then I would go in and then work out for like a few hours and then I would come out and then leave but like recently I tried to like start smoking again and like it just it didn't work out for me personally also like I've been like really wanting to like get drunk like I really I like I've really been wanting to like get drunk because like I have like a whole entire big ass bottle of vodka that I've had in my apartment for like almost like a year now and it's just been like sitting up there and like I haven't been drinking and like I want to drink but it's just like every single time that I start to drink I only take like maybe like if that like two shots and then like, it's just like, I don't even get like a buzz of it, but I'm just like, nah, I'm cool, I'm done. But what has come from being like 100% stone cold sober, besides me eating fast food and drinking coffee, is that I've, ha I've been having like such a like crystal clear, vision of like what is going on in my life that Paul if you don't change something if you continue on the path of how you're living your life being like a normal person working a nine-to-five job that you're going to be the 90 year old man flipping burgers in McDonald's with no money in his bank account another thing what I have been doing or rather haven't been doing is literally being like off of YouTube for me personally. Like I haven't been watching any videos whatsoever because as you see, like I'm like a creator, I'm like creating videos, like I'm like a, a personality. And what happens, like what I've noticed, like when I'm trying to create something, when I see another YouTuber do something that's cool, I almost automatically try to implement what they're doing inside of my videos. And I absolutely hate that. So like what I've been doing 
and what I'm probably gonna continue doing is like almost being on YouTube like 0%. So what's going to happen is that naturally I'm just going to have to be myself and like see what I can bring to the table for like creating on YouTube. Of course I still need to go on YouTube to like upload these videos, but um, what I've noticed for me personally, like hours and hours and hours and hours every single day. Like I'm just like on YouTube, like watching and watching and watching. And um, typically those are times that like I'm at work um, because like, you know, I work graveyard and um, thankfully my company is actually like really, really cool with that. They're just like freaking just make sure that you don't fall asleep and freaking watch the equipment, man. Other than that, you're cool. But I'm thinking, like I'm already thinking of like what my um, 2025 New Year's resolution is going to be, like what's going to be on it. Like I'm already thinking about it now. And I believe that one of them is to be, to not be on YouTube other than when I'm inside the gym, just using it for music. Like, I think that that's going to be like one of my New Year's resolutions to like kind of like get ahead of it to, to like kind of already like be on top of it so I can already start wrapping my brain around it. So like whatever I put on my New Year's resolution that it actually comes to fruition. Also, another thing that I realized is like once I move out of my apartment, you know, at the beginning of next year, is that like I can actually like start like actually doing like whatever the hell I want. Like I, can, I can actually like start being like a dick, like if need be. Because like, you know, say like since I live in my apartment, I kind of like have to be nice to the people like in my neighborhood, in my apartment and like around that place because like I don't want them to know where I am and like I automatically feel obligated to like be a nice person. But it's just like now for like these people who are like coming at me with random bullshit trying to bully me, is that I can actually like defend myself. Like I can, I can like finally like be a dick. And of course, if you know me, like you know that that's not my style. Like I'm just naturally like a nice person. But in most situations, like I feel obligated to like be like nice to people. Like I feel like I have to be nice to people. Because, like, if I start, like, a fucking war with this person, then I might have to, like, see them later. But, like, if I always have, like, if I can, like, always just literally, like, get up and, like, just move to a different location. It's just, like, I can finally, like, protect myself. I can actually, like, start to begin to create. Like, because, like, say, like, in my apartment, like, you guys know, if you guys watch my videos, I never record in my apartment because it's too freaking loud. Like, literally... Like it's um, it's almost like um, like like I almost have to like scream. There's like there's 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 police going there's police going down on the to that way. Hopefully they're not coming for me. But what I'm saying is like literally like I almost have to like scream at the top of my lungs because like then like the recording equipment like won't pick it up. I think that this is a damn good situation, man. I think that this is this is going to allow me to start to be me because you know like I can't I can't like be myself all of the time which suck. Now I'm actually going to be able to start to learn what it's like to be me. Like, I really don't like I don't know like who I am as like a person. Like I don't really know I don't really know like who I am as a person. And I mean, I guess that that's kind of like built in to like one of the things that you have to do as like a human being, like while you're on this planet, is that like, that's one of the things that's like not really just given to you. I think that I guess you do have to just like figure out over like a long period of time of who you are as a person, but it's like literally I never get any sort of opportunities to figure out who I am as a person because I consistently have to like PR myself. Like I have to like consistently like 
be like a perfect person because like I've been in like a system for so long, you know, I've been like living at Penny Lane. It's like I've been like, um, especially like working in my other job, the job that I had before this job that I have right now is just like I would work with the same people every single day and where I would park my car it's just like that's where we would like patrol in front of and like there was like no possible way that I could live inside of my car because like they were eventually going to find out and like especially like even with like my new job it's like I really don't care if like they find out that like I'm living in my car it's just that like I don't want to just bring it like oh let me show you guys like oh I'm living in my car like I don't want to just show it like you know like I want them to like have to like find out like I don't want that to be like the icebreaker of like meeting a new person oh yeah by the way I live in my car you know with all of that said make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week and uh <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here before they um <laughs> remove me